Hello and welcome to this 2016 Charger Volleyball Preview. My name is Brad Monastier and today I'm joined by the longest tenured head coach here at Hillsdale College, Chris Gravel. Today we're going to look ahead to the 2016 season. Coach, welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, Brad. Sure. First, let's quickly recap last season. Uh, the team qualified for the NCAA tournament for the ninth time in the past 12 seasons and had a record of 23-8. and eight. How gratifying was it for you to see the team return to postseason play after a two-year absence? Well, it felt more like more at home. You know, uh, I mean, making it back to the NCAA is definitely what we feel we should be able to do every year. I mean, uh, it's although we feel that something is supposed to be done, it's a difficult challenge, and um, it takes a lot of things to go right. Um, we think we're, you know, we've had a lot of injuries over the last couple of years, uh, some unexpected uh, changes in um, personnel. But uh, yeah, last year we brought it all together and uh, you know, had a great year. Sure. There's no doubt that last year's senior class was a big part of the success that you had. Five players who played uh, quite a bit right from the get-go. As they exit, now you bring seven new players into the program this year, six of them being freshmen. What will be the biggest challenge for you to integrate those new players into the Hillsdale volleyball way of doing things? Coaches' sanity. <laughs> but, um, coaches have to repeat themselves a lot. Um, with six freshmen, um, that's what I'm preparing for, to have to repeat myself a lot. But the uh, XD of seniors uh, did a great job of um, you know, being examples of selflessness, which we really uh, strive for, uh, playing very hard for not just yourself, but for the team. So the returning players have that ingrained in them, and they're uh, very anxious to get that ingrained in the incoming freshmen. Sure. Talent-wise, on the court, where do you see this incoming freshman class at? What do you like about them? What roles do you see them playing uh, when you start playing matches on the court? Well, the freshman class is very tan talented. Uh, you know, high school all-stars and club, oh, yeah. you know, and club stars, just like uh, they all are coming in. Um, they got a lot of work, though. Um, they got a lot, a lot of work to do. I do think that um, they have the potential to, to see some time on the floor this year and representing us. Um, but it's how often can they play at that level. That's always the trick when coming in as a freshman. Sure. And, of course, handling the academics here at Hillsdale College. Right, right. Now let's take a look at the sophomore class. Three members of that class, Kara Violetel, Paige Vanderwall, and Taylor Bennett, all played major roles on the court for the team last year. Talk about what kind of progress you've seen from them through the offseason and then as you're ready to start preseason in a couple weeks. Well, and then the uh, one sophomore you didn't, or now sophomore, you didn't mention Christine. Right. That class did make um, uh, major strides this spring. Uh, Paige more, though, in injury recovery because sure. she had the uh, blown ACL at the end of the season last year. Uh, but she's back and been cleared. Uh, Kara did a nice job this spring. Uh, Taylor, now that you know the senior setter has uh, you know, graduated, um, a lot of pressure on her to step up, and she's put in the extra time. We feel good about it. Uh, the junior class has been led by Dynamic Libero and Brittany Janicek and received some reinforcements in the form of Jackie Langer, a transfer player, an outside hitter. Sounds like a girl who can play all the way around. Um, what are you looking for out of that class this year? Sounds like two players will be on the court quite a bit for you. It could be. I mean, uh, we have um, Jackie who had a great spring with us. She's a great fit. Um, you know, uh, fits in well. It's going to help us for sure. But there's a lot of competition on the outside that she's going to have to compete with. And I think, um, you know, how she handles that, we'll see. She, she's new. I mean, although she's a junior, she is new to our program. And then we have Brittany, who, you know, has been, has been tough, has been playing, has been helping us on game day. Well, she just had another surgery on Friday and not expected to come back at the beginning of the season. Um, so she's going to have to work her way back into the line. Okay. So, but, um, you know, surgery went well, and she's expected back. So good. Uh, the senior class is led by the, la the GLIAC blocker of the year from last year, Aaron Holsinger. Her, along with Sam Siddall, Kyra Rohde, players who know your program inside and out, have been through all the wars. Uh, how have you seen them mature from that leadership standpoint as they enter their senior seasons? Well, that's nice. I mean, you mentioned Aaron Blocker of the year, and she can, you know, she wants to continue on that path. She made strides this spring, too. I mean, she's even better than she was, so we're looking for. A lot of great things there. I mean, Kyra played a lot last year. Um, Sam, although not on the floor, is, I mean, she, like you said, knows our program inside and out, and uh, all three of them are going to offer us the leadership that we need in that, you know, in that right. class. So. You're known for breaking your season up into phases, and one of the first phases is the two early season tournaments. Uh, you guys are headed to Clarion in Pennsylvania and then uh, Finley, the same stops that you made last year. What type of things will you be looking for out of the team to consider that phase a success? 
well, in that phase, we really like to, you know, push ourselves, but also um, test our versatility, um, see what kind of options we're going to have uh, during the regular season. I know we start out with a team. Uh, we open up, they have five seniors. Okay, so they should, you know, and we have six freshmen. Right. So we have to, to figure that out. Then we play, you know, uh, Cedarville, who, you know, had some great wins last year, and it's always a strong team. I, mean, I think they beat uh, Indianapolis and Southern Indiana last year. Um, so they're, they're a strong program. Uh, that's like Clarion. I mean, they made it to the NCAAs last year. Gannon made it to the Sweet 16 last year. We play them. And right. I think uh, another big team that we play is uh, Pitts Johnstown, who was also in the NCAAs. And heck, they had a 29 win season. So, I mean, we've got some teams that are used to winning that we have to play, but um, we're kind of used to that all year. So, at least we need to get used to that. Right. Uh, Coach, last question. Uh, in our, as we go into our last year in the GLIAC, we're switched back to the North Division. What kind of challenges does being in the North Division with powerhouses like Bear State and Grand Valley present for your team, which does skew a little on the younger side, as you mentioned? Uh, you had mentioned it. Um, you, know, you have two powerhouses like uh, Bear State and Grand Valley. I mean, you really don't need to say any more except sure. for that. But um, no, I mean, they've had some turnover also. They've got okay. some young young people coming in, and uh, they're always great matches. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's exactly what we need. You know, I mean, we want to play tough competition, and, and, and they are. So, mm -hmm. excellent. Be a good year. Well, Coach, we thank you very much for your time and giving us some insight into the new season, and we wish you best of luck in the upcoming year. And we thank you for watching this 2016 Charger Volleyball Preview. Hey, thanks.